Hello everyone. Uh, I'm in the middle of fixing, mixing and sorting through all my colors here, all the acrylics that I have been collecting and using, abusing and they are half gone, half caked on me and I just wanted to include you into the process. It's a bit of a mess that I'm uh, squatting in the midst of. I'm going to just sit down here. Uh, so what colors do you need to use to get started painting with acrylics? This is one of the first questions people ask me when they are coming to my class or they just want to get to know a bit more about acrylics and painting with acrylics. So I recommend you to use a color that has a high enough pigment content. One of the things my students enjoy is this Sennelier abstract. It comes in a bag, in a pouch. You can even buy extra spouts for it so you can draw on it, have fun with it. But I just use these. Uh, they have a high enough pigment content. They are strong enough. Uh, and if you dilute them, they still look like colors. And yeah, so that's it. These are kind of like the higher, like better quality student paints. Uh, just like uh, my next choice would be graduate acrylics from Dale Roney. It is okay. Again, it has quite a bit of filler. So if you are in love with colors the way I am, uh, then you might want to go rather with uh, Sennelier abstract. But for example, I use graduate acrylics, the white, a lot. And all these, you basically recognize these colors because uh, when you go to the store, they are all the same price. So every single pouch, doesn't matter the color, it will be the same price. Now, on the other hand, what I truly love is uh, artists' acrylics. So artists' acrylics, uh, they vary in price. You will see that something like, okay, De La Roni, the same brand that does this for our students, you know, just so you can splash it around, not worry about anything uh, too expensive being spoiled or being uh, misused. The same brand creates something called Kryla, and that's artist's acrylics, as you can see it on the tube. Uh, this has a higher pigment content, and also depending on the pigment, where it's from, uh, whether it's mined or uh, it's done in a lab, you know, how expensive it is to actually create it, it will vary in price. So it has price range. It also says on the tube, any professional acrylic tube will tell you what is uh, its permanence, how permanent it is, whether it disappears in time if you happen to hang it somewhere in the sun or it actually stays that way. It also tells you how opaque the paint is. So you see their opacity. Oh, come on, focus, please. Opacity means how much it covers anything that's underneath. So on a painting like this, this is done with acrylics. Oh, forget the portraits, they are done in oils. So this one I painted with a massive palette knife. And uh, all the colors that I used were very, very opaque. And anything new that I added would cover the stuff underneath. If something is transparent, then you allow the previous layer to come through it and it kind of adds together. So uh, adds it adds up, it's lovely. Okay, so professional colors. Now I have a little, I don't know, if you ever go to Budapest, please do buy, this is a Hungarian brand. It's professional acrylics by uh, Pannon Color. Okay, that is a lovely brand. Smaller tubes you want to get when you are traveling. So you can just pack a few of them in your backpack or in your purse and you are ready to paint anywhere you go. With anything larger, if you are painting at home, like I am now here in the corner of my living room, if you are just painting at home, forget small tubes. It's much better to buy colors in large tubes. This family abstract comes in half liter bags. So that's fantastic. Another brand I love, 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 and that's Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Paint. 
it's the thickness of toothpaste. So because I love to paint with palette knives and create these very highly textured surfaces, it's good to paint with heavy body acrylics. But when I paint in Italy in like 40, 42, 45 degrees, not Fahrenheit, Celsius, uh, then this will cake on my palette knife before it reaches the canvas. So it also depends on you know the temperature and the working environment that you have. Another paint I use because now I'm uh, a resident in the UK is uh, Jackson's, which is a local brand. If you have any local brands, then please support your local uh, art shop. This is Jackson's Acrylics. It's really good quality. I love it. It comes in uh, in these 60 milliliter little tubes. Very handy, gorgeous colors. Yeah, I think that's it about colors okay enjoy i hope this was useful please subscribe and uh, you know post any questions that you have and i'm happy to answer okay enjoy have fun painting